在这儿干嘛呀？可以送吧，送吧。你工资多少钱呀？ To relieve manpower shortages and reduce the risk of infection, hospitals in China have introduced robots and artificial intelligence to combat the virus. This robotics company has been supplying restaurants in China with food delivery robots for quite some time. As China set up its first batch of quarantine sites, this company immediately saw a business opportunity. 医护人员如果用来送一顿餐食的话，的时间消耗大概可能要，呃，一个多小时到一个半小时的左右的时间，体力消耗也非常大。在这个环节上，能避免了他们跟这个被感染人群或潜在感染人群的接触的话，那这个工作可以让机器人去替代。啊、呃，他一次充一次电四小时，然后可以持续工作十五个小时。Delivering food is not the only job this company's robots are doing. One is being developed to sterilize rooms using disinfectant and UV light, and other machines are joining humans on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. This AI company, which specializes in facial recognition, has developed a program to automatically analyze CT scans of COVID-19 patients. 本身我们已经沉淀了对于肺部多种病灶的识别。那新冠肺炎出来之后呢，我们只需要用少量的新冠病人的图像，就可以采用迁移学习的算法，让系统识别新冠肺炎患者的影像学表征。以往的时候没有这个系统，医生大概需要看完整个影像，然后这个过程一般一般是要两到三个小时。这样的话呢，这些高危疑似的新冠病人可能会接触到更多的这个病人和医生，会造成更多的传染。所以这款系统在 CT 拍完这个影像之后，大概在一分钟之内就可以提示这个病人是否是高危疑似的新冠病人。那如果说没有智能辅助系统的时候呢，医生要对一个弥漫性的病灶进行精准的边缘勾勒，进行体积计算，这个可能需要两三个小时。但有了这样一套智能系统之后呢，呃，我们只需要。Uh, the AI company will soon deploy its equipment to medical facilities in Poland and Italy. Robots and AI machines are not only taking on greater roles in hospitals and quarantine sites. This school in Hong Kong has deployed robots to check the temperatures of students and to disinfect examination halls. Just a few examples of how robots and smart machines are joining the war against the COVID-19 pandemic and helping to save human lives.